I think quite quickly I recognised that there was something that I was hearing in the training that resonated with me on a very, very fundamental level. When I heard things like, um, all thoughts, emotions and sensations are like a rainbow appearing in space. Um, when I heard things like, all thoughts, emotions and sensations are like the lightning flash of the dynamic energy of open intelligence. When I was given the suggestion that for a short moment I could just relax and allow everything to be as it is and recognise what was the basis of my experience. And, and when I heard these things and I began to test out um, firstly the practice of short moments, so just a short moment of just stopping the describing, the, the ceaseless constant describing, thinking, talking, emphasising and, and just rested naturally. And I began to discover in my own experience that there was an ease, there was an openness, there was a clarity that was just always naturally present. And whenever I did stop describing, there it was. I just um, gave myself a little space to notice it. And so very quickly in my own experience I began to see that um, what was being offered here it was actually what I'd always been looking for um, and I'd been looking to understand the nature of reality, the nature of identity, I'd been looking for meaning, um, what am I meant to be doing here, what's it all about um, and how do I live my life and I saw that as I identified this openness of intelligence and I just allowed my intelligence to be open simply by stopping the describing and allowing the flow of experience to be as it was and I began to see these incredible results very, very quickly, just through testing this out. Um, that here was something really special. And I had been involved, I was just thinking, I'd been involved for a couple of years when it first dawned on me, but this, this is just the most important thing that I've ever come across in my life. And I've done lots of very, very interesting and wonderful things and been involved with amazing practices and groups of people but this is actually it's just hitting the nail on the head it's allowing me to see in my own experience the actual nature of reality something that I had I'd had glimpses of throughout my life the complete indivisibility of everything the inseparability of all things the the oneness that was the actual nature of reality but rather than just having glimpses through participating in this training, these glimpses were becoming more and more an everyday lived experience. And this was something that was just completely mind-blowing for me, because I thought it was something that was, um, I mean, it, it, I thought it was something mysterious and um, esoteric and it, it, was, uh, it, it was certainly not a possibility for me to live that way. You know, it was something that maybe if I was lucky in my life again, I would continue to have these glimpses of. But that was all it would be, and these would be these incredible experiences that I would then try and replicate, or at least talk about for years afterwards, and, but not really having the experience again. And as I began to participate and, and um, take the short moments and started listening to the, the, the audio files, and the, you can download them from the website for free, this experience, the instinctive recognition of the openness, the actual fundamental nature of everything became more and more obvious. And I was like, wow, this is, um, this is it. This, this is what I've been looking for. All the books I've been reading that were talking about it, all of the, the great masters that I've been hearing about, the, this, this incredible reality that had been glimpsed at is becoming increasingly obvious in my everyday life and um, is this, this, is, this is incredible and then the idea dawned on me I'd, I'd really like to share this with other people because what I'm seeing in my own experience is just incredible particularly after completing the 12 empowerments it cleared up and opened up so many of my fixed ideas about what things were about who I was, about what everything meant, all of these learned concepts and ideas were just much more open and spacious and I just saw them all much more clearly for what they were. 
Um, and I thought, well, I, I, you know, I'd really like to share this with other people because this, this is just incredible. And, um, and of course, the first difficulty came with um, when people asked me, well, what, what is it? What, what are you doing? Well, it's, um, it's, it's not really, it's, um, and it's, it's impossible or very difficult to put it in a box because it is the nature of reality. It's not just psychology, it's not just spirituality, it's not just some kind of philosophy. It's actually the instinctive recognition of the nature of reality. And there's one phrase that I really liked, and that was education in the nature of mind, or education in the nature of intelligence. And that in itself is a very um, profound recognition in that this is something we can educate ourselves in. This is not something that happens randomly, even though I'd had glimpses of it seemingly randomly throughout my life. There is a training that if you participate, it is guaranteed, oh, there's an outrageous claim, guaranteed that it will become more obvious to you in your everyday lived experience. All you need to do is to test out and see whether that guarantee is true or not. Um, so that was a phrase that I found helpful when speaking to other people about it. Um, it's education in the nature of intelligence, but, and I tried to explain it, but it always just came out, came out in a confused way when I was you know, still quite new. So I would just say to people, look, here's the website URL, go and check it out for yourself. And that was, that was great, I didn't need to try and explain it, and they could see if it was something they were interested for themselves. And the ideas that I'd had about myself, the ideas I'd had about what being of benefit meant, my ideas about everything, basically, were all based on this rather strange assumption that somehow I was a separate, isolated individual living in a world populated by lots of other separate, isolated individuals and objects. Um, and actually, that was never my experience. The reality of my experience is always completely clear and wide open, like a clear sky with all of this experience coming and going in a completely seamless, effortless flow. And you can look at your own experience right now, just stop describing everything, relax completely, rest mind and body naturally, and identify the openness of your intelligence. It's, it's already open. It's already experiencing everything as it is. And it doesn't actually need all of these excessive, all of this is excessive focus on the descriptions about what's going on. Because the descriptions are quite often based on ideas that I've learned that are simply not true. Like me being a separate, isolated individual. And that doesn't make any sense. It's like um, I'm breathing air, I'm eating food, my, my cells and my atoms are indivisible from every other cell and atom in the universe. And yet somehow I've convinced myself that I'm a separate, isolated individual, living a lonely, tormented life of suffering and conflict. And it's not true. It is simply something that I had been told, and I'd then been telling myself for many years, until it seemed to be true. And the beauty of a short moment of just stopping describing was to actually show me, in my own experience, the actual openness and indivisible nature of reality right now. With whatever you're thinking, feeling or sensing. Nothing can be found to have a nature separate or apart from the open intelligence within which it occurs. Everything, the thoughts, emotions and sensations, the data streams, are the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Like the um, they're inseparable from open intelligence, like the reflections in a crystal ball are inseparable from the purity and openness of the crystal ball. You can't take out a reflection from a crystal ball. You can't take out any of your experience from the openness of intelligence in which and as which it occurs. So why not just relax and stop trying? All of the describing was an effort somehow to separate out one particular perception, one particular experience, and describe it as if it had this independent nature. And it was always problematic. 
it created conflict. Instead here, what you're introduced to is a totally different approach. And that's another way to explain the training, is it's simply the optimal way of being human. Because the way that we can use our intelligence is either to try and describe everything, to focus in on the ever-changing descriptions and try and make sense of the world based on these, or we can relax and rest naturally and see that we have this innate capacity to be skillful, to be clear, to be loving and to act in a way that is of benefit to ourselves and other people. This is innate, this is actually who we are, we just simply need to relax and rest as that power of great benefit for short moments until it becomes obvious all of the time. So it's very, very simple and it needs to be simple, it doesn't need to be complicated. Because it's simple, we can apply it in all circumstances. Our experience becomes our training ground. Our experience becomes our practice. We don't need a, a special cushion or a special posture or even particular thoughts or emotions to practice relying on open intelligence for short moments, repeated many times until it becomes obvious at all times. And this is the beauty of this, this is the power. This is why it was hitting the nail on the head for me. Because there was no experience that I couldn't use to support the practice. Whether I was feeling happy or sad, whether I was hot or cold, happy or sad, feeling lonely or really sociable, whatever it was, all of these data could simply be allowed to be as they are and I could recognize open intelligence inseparable from the data, as the source and the essence and the basis of the data. And there was the relaxation, there was the ease, there was the clarity. Always available. So, so simple and so practical. And um, in terms of the cosmos and space, and I wasn't clear exactly what you were asking, but what I see is that my perspective on who I am has gone from being this very narrow, very tense, very limited idea about who I was and what it meant to be human and what I was capable of to being a perspective of just more and more increasing openness where all of the data, all of the experience are simply the expression of this inexhaustible openness opening and opening further and further. So, like the universe itself is expanding inexhaustibly, opening continuously. This is the actual nature of our intelligence. And all of your data are that beneficial expansion. They're not something that you need to struggle with, something you need to avoid, indulge or replace. You can simply allow them to be as they are. And that is when this intelligence and the brilliance of it and the full capacity of it is immediately accessed without anything needing to change.